Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk all things canvas. In case you're new, my name's Lauren and I am the Canvas Queen. And today we are going to be talking all about HTML editor and creating tabs. I'm kind of starting like a new series on HTML and all the amazing things that you can do with the HTML editor. So I just thought I would start with tabs since that's usually like a highly requested item. Tabs are fantastic and just like another way to shorten up a really, really long page. Maybe you have some sort of like reading assignment and the page is just like long or you have like extra videos or something. You don't want students like constantly clicking on to the next thing within Canvas. You just want it kind of like all in one area. Tabs are fantastic for this. They just shorten everything up. I actually have used tabs in the past. Um, for my home page and it was super beneficial especially for parents to find important information also now of course before I show you how you can create HTML tabs within canvas I would absolutely love it and appreciate it if you would like this video and also subscribe to my channel all right guys let's get started with creating some tabs So the first thing we're gonna do is locate the HTML editor. You can find the HTML editor basically anywhere within Canvas where you can type in a text box. So that would be a page, an assignment, a discussion board, a quiz, almost every element that you can place within a Canvas module. So we're just gonna do a basic page just because the majority of them are blank and it's all a text box page. Let's go to pages and then we're going to create a new page and then I'm going to title this demo tabs page. So we are currently looking at a text box or so again the rich content editor, the RCE we like to call it for short and we're going to come down to this right here where we're going to enter our HTML Code. You can switch to raw HTML editor or back. Both of them are going to do the same thing. It doesn't matter um, for you who's just starting with HTML code. Okay, but what we're going to actually do is we've located it, but we're going to start placing in content into our page and start dividing up the page section. So let's fill in this page and section off what we would want each tab to have. So let's move forward a little bit. I have finished creating all of the content for my page with all of the sections. So you can see here I've highlighted it. I have section one tab, which is this reading page or passage. Then we have section two tab, which is going to be reading questions. And then the last part is going to be a little mini activity for my students. So as you can see, this page is pretty long. There's a lot of scrolling happening. So we're going to try to make this page a little bit shorter. So all I'm gonna do is actually, we're gonna go to my TPT store. So this is my Canvas Queen shop where I've got lots of Canvas templates and all sorts of freebies and stuff. And one of those freebies is my Canvas HTML editor code key. So all you have to do is download this. It is Again, it's free. And what you're going to get is access to this document. And it has a little table of content. So we want to code for tabs. So I'm going to click on the tabs slide. And we have the HTML code on the left and the uh, what it will look like on the right side. So I'm going to come over here and we are going to copy this code. Copy. And take it back to Canvas. So let's edit this real quick. And we're going to go back to, so this is the rich content editor. We're gonna go back to the HTML editor. Now I can see what my content looks like within the HTML editor, all of this lovely code. And at the top on line one here, as you guys can see, we are going to paste in that code key, all right? so. 
right here. This is what we just added. Now what I'm going to do just so we make sure that this code is appropriately working, we're going to click save. And now you can see I have tab one, tab two, and tab three, which is awesome. So all we're going to do now is actually start copying and pasting into the tabs, okay? So let's click that edit button. And then you can actually try to copy this way and then paste right here. Doesn't always work out. Sometimes there's hiccups in terms of where of the code lands and what I mean is divs. So you'll notice when I click on the HTML, um, you'll see it right in this section, we have a division, a div. Ooh, there we go. And I need to put all of my content for the first tab within this division or section. So sometimes, you know, if we copy and paste and we're not aware of this code, it'll be on, I accidentally will paste it on the outside and then the code does not work. So if you're struggling that way, I would do it this way, okay? So we are going to, let me zoom all the way out, there you go. We are going to take this first section. So we see section one, and we're going to scroll, 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 scroll all the way until I see up, ah, I see section two right there. And I do not want to touch that row that section two is on. I actually even might go right above it and go all the way back up until I get to my section one. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy it. I am not going to cut this yet because I want to make sure that everything I created is still there just in case I mess up. So now where it says put the content for this tab here, we are going to right after here, paste that in. And now I am going to save it just to check it. And now you can see it is all there within the first tab and I still have it at the bottom. So once I actually am done, I've checked everything, then I'm going to start deleting everything off of the bottom because I know that it's in the right place. Okay, so let's keep going and I'm going to edit this again, but this time, here we go back to the HTML editor, but this time I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, and we're going to do, so here's tab one again, section two. So we're going to select all of this, scroll down, scroll down until we get to tab three or section three. And I am going to, again, copy this. We're gonna go back up and we're gonna find so here's fragment one, which is tab one. Scroll down, here's fragment two. Now, if you ever struggle with trying to find all of this lovely stuff, you can always, this is a little, little trick, command F, right? And you can just type in frag, oop, fragment, and then it'll show you within the HTML editor where all the fragments are. And that's just a really great way to make sure that you're not lost in this page because they can get really long and complicated. Okay, so we did that. We're going to click save, make sure that this works. All right, so when we go now to tab two, all of the content for tab two is there ready to go. Now let's do the last final tab. All right, highlighted everything I want in the third section, cut and paste. Okay, so now click save. Now we have tab one, tab two, and tab three. Fabulous. Okay, so now let's change um, it up a little bit. So we're going to go back to edit, and now I'm done with HTML. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to touch it anymore. I'm going to change these titles. So let's do, and I always leave a one letter. Uh, just a quick tip there, just so the whole link doesn't go away. So we'll title this uh, Reading Passage. 
and then I can actually just get rid of that title there and leave it as is and then delete the P and then we'll do leaving one letter again reading questions and then deleting the last letter and then for the final tab we'll do mini activity okay and then we'll just get rid of that p and now i can get rid of section one i can get rid of section section two I can get rid of section three. And now when I click save, bum ba da dum, now it is a lot more clean and pretty. If I want to change the font, of course, I can just select all like so. And then maybe I want it to be maybe not bigger. Let's change it back to 12, but maybe I want to change the font up and then we'll click save. And now I have my tabs all done. Okay, so one quick tip to help you in case something occurs and you make a mistake. You can actually go in and copy your code like so. You want to make sure this isn't too long because we're going to use chat GPT and we're going to paste it and we're going to say, can you please correct my code now it should say that everything looks good because it is working but let's just for funsies see what it tells us it looks like you've provided a snippet of html code containing three tabs with uh, different sections and so essentially it's saying however i'll <laughs> provide a few suggestions to improve the code readability hey that's not too bad so then it's giving me suggestions which is awesome but if you do have an error it will tell you where your error is. And then you can just go back and fix it really quick. This is great for uh, like people who are very, very new to HTML code who are like, I don't really know. This will help guide you if you struggle at first. But if you follow the steps that I provided you, you should be okay for the most part. But this is just in case the chat GPT, you always have a backup helper. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that it was very helpful and beneficial to you learning how to use Canvas LMS. If you have any questions or you struggle at all with tabs, feel free to leave me a comment below. As I mentioned earlier in the video, this is going to be an HTML series, so stay tuned for more really cool, fun things that you can do within the HTML editor. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.